Super base uh, database. It has got two tables. One is the cricket one day international database. It has got uh, 1.5 million records around 250 MB. And second is a very small file, uh, monthly RBI statistics uh, bank disclosure uh, compiled statistics. So this is the uh, uh, GPT. I have got some starter prompts here. So let's ask, uh, what kind of data do you have, and what analysis can you do? So it has shared the data about the ODI data, RBA card data, and here are the kind of thing what an analysis it can do. So I'm asking it on the cricket data, who are the top five strikers by runs of the bat in table format plus a chart. So here is the chart, you know, uh, Virat Kohli, KC Sangakara, RG Sharma. The starter prompts also, so you can just click on the starter prompts to check it out. I am asking it about average e-commerce spends per credit card by bank category, table, uh, plus a chart and then also I am asking it to run a chi-square to go so these are the total e-com uh, spends that interact table is there and then we have these spends by card foreign banks uh, e-com spends 16,000 public sector 6,000 and so on uh, chi-square uh, chi-square not required in this case because the you know the difference is uh, as it is pretty huge but this is just to show the kind of analysis that it can do so here is the kind of python code it runs the setting it up it's uh, pretty straightforward i have set up all the codes for a uh, quick fast deployment so uh, this is the uh, this is the code base this is the github uh, repo and it has got a step by step guide so assuming that first step will be to deploy this code so you can fork it i mean once you fork it deployment uh, from forking your deployment is probably one or two minutes so or you can clone it you can uh, do it on render railway wherever you'd like so you know it's a uh, if you are doing it in render so something like this you would just be doing you know create a new web service and then you simply are if you have forked the repo then you will simply point to that uh, repo right and uh, there you have to give the build command is already there start command i have ubicon command is there this one which is i have already shared there and uh, everything else remains the same it can be a free project and you have to just give the two environment variables so which are the two environment variables number one is this this is your database connection URI in URI format, your Supabase string. So where do you will, will you get that? So you go to Supabase on the top. Once you go into your project, you will see this connect. So when you say connect, uh, it will show you this URI. This whole URI, you have to copy this whole URI, copy and uh, paste it there. Now this will password, uh, if it is uh, not shown here, you will have to put your password. If it is not shown, password is not shown, then you will have to reset your password. If you are setting it for the first time, you will want that password. Then uh, you come here, environment variable, you have to set two, database URL and Rex API key. So you come here and here you will be setting it up as database URL and you paste that value which you got there. Then same you will be doing as Rex API key. This API key is for our prote endpoint protection, right? So this can be, this can be anything that you want. Only thing is the same key has to be put into the custom GPT. So only if they, wherever the key matches. And then you say deploy. Once you deploy, uh, uh, URL something like this uh, URL. So this is your API endpoint. So you copy, make a note of this and the API uh, key. You create a custom GPT. You give your GPT a name. Uh, connect. You can add a description. Instruction. So what are the custom instructions? So the custom instructions are here. So these are the custom instructions related to this database. So you copy uh, this custom uh, it, and you paste it here. And then conversation starters in case you want, uh, code interpreter you enable it, then you say create new action and here in the open API schema here, you uh, this is again this it is step by step guide is there, but the, this is the open API schema. So you just copy the whole thing and paste it here. Now in this whole thing it remains exactly as uh, this one, this is uh, for this is uh, this can connect to any database, you know I have taken a super base example but you can connect any database. So there are two places where you have to make a change, you know, in the server area, I have given it in the, I have given, uh, given exactly where the change in the code base in the GitHub repo. But this URL is the one that you got from render here, right, uh, the one that we got. So this one, or if you have given a custom domain, so that, that, that would be shared here and there is a place where you will put your API key. So your description API key here, right, uh, as uh, API key you will put there. So then that's it, that's it, you test and you save and uh, your... GPT will be uh, ready.